Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Drew here from Lone Fox, and I cannot believe I'm sitting here in 2021 currently. 2020 was definitely a year for all of us, but I am very, very excited to kick off the year with kind of a fun little video sharing with you guys 10 easy DIY budget-friendly hacks that you could do to your own space, whether it be your home, your bedroom, your apartment, your dorm room, wherever it might be that you're currently living. These are a couple of great tips and just tricks and hacks that you can use to update some spaces and just make them a little bit more customized and cute for the new year. I also quickly wanted to take a minute to thank you guys so, so much for all of the love on my videos last year. I cannot believe how many of you guys tune in every single week to see what I am creating and making. This has kind of just been a hobby of mine for so long, and I was always a video editor for the longest time, so me kind of taking my hobby and then filming myself actually doing it and putting it on YouTube was always a dream of mine, but I never knew if it was going to turn into anything or anything like that. So after about six years of video editing, I was like, let's go ahead and create this Lone Fox YouTube channel. That's what I did, and I cannot believe that we have over 930,000 of you guys watching at the current moment. That is insane to me, and if you are not already, make sure to subscribe to my channel to become part of the Lone Fox family. I post brand new home decor and DIY content here every single week, but let's go ahead and jump on into these 10 budget-friendly DIY, just little upgrades you could do around your home for the new year to start off fresh and just I don't know another adjective fresh and good and fun and all of those sorts of things so let's get started so the first thing I want to talk about is paint now updating an old accent wall is such an easy and affordable way to make such a huge transformation in a space I have done this countless times in old apartments but since I've only been living here since about May I've really been loving the accent walls that I've painted so far however I'm sure in the year 2021 I'm gonna want to change something up of course but back in my old apartment you guys saw me kind of go from a peachy kind of summery vibe which I was loving at that exact time into more of a green kind of still bright but also a tiny bit moody vibe which I also loved as well a paint can cost around 40 bucks I feel like for a medium good can of paint you know so updating just an old color you might not like anymore or you have been staring at for year after year after year updating it for 2021 is a great way to introduce a new color palette and a new freshness to the space I'm going to also pop up some colors that I've been gravitating towards this year and these are some colors I might start introducing in some of my design work this year whether it be in my own apartment or or in a space that I might be designing later down the road. I am not too sure, but I've been loving these colors. Moving on into our next one, this is not really a DIY project, but it's more of a mindset if you're wanting to change up a space for the new year. I personally think creating a mood board is such a great way to go to put you in the right direction and just give you something visual to look at for the space you're wanting to redecorate. I know not all of us have the time or money to fully redecorate an entire space at once, which is totally fine. You can do small improvements over the year to kind of reach an end goal, but I do think creating a start point at the beginning of the year for a room you want to achieve or a color palette you want to do, textures you want to include, furniture pieces you might want to invest in over the year is a great way to kind of kick off your room design and give you a direction and just something to look forward to for the year. So I personally think it's a great idea to use an app like Canva or Photoshop or maybe even a mood board editor if you can just google that on the internet and take photos from Pinterest, colors you might be liking, even photograph pieces you currently have and just kind of see how they mesh together on a mood board and you can use that throughout the year to work towards an end goal. That way you don't have to invest all this time and all this money at once. Totally work on it throughout the year, but give yourself a starting off point with an incredible mood board. I don't know about you guys, but I am somebody that loves to change my bedding. I don't do it super often, but when I get the chance to change my bedding, I love going out and exploring and finding new pieces for my bed because I do think the bed is always a focal of any bedroom. So having new bedding kind of changes the whole ambiance for sure. However, investing in a new duvet cover, new throw pillows, a new sheet set, a new throw blanket, new pillow cases can be quite costly so something I think that can totally impact your bed without having to cost too much is just introducing a brand new sheet set sorry guys so the lighting changed a little bit my camera just died but what I was talking about is not really changing a cream sheet set to a white sheet set because that is a little bit boring just going from a simple color to another simple color I'm more so talking about introducing a new pattern sheet set to your bedding which I think is such a great way to add a little bit of impactful touch it adds a nice little pattern it adds color now if you guys have ever bought pattern sheets before for. traditionally one side has a pattern on it and the other side is just a solid color you know so whenever I would make my bed I would make it with the pattern side facing up because that's just kind of what you would think that you would normally do with it however a great tip to kind of make sure that this pattern shows when you fold it over at the top of the bed is to actually put it on your bed pattern side down that way the pattern is facing kind of your mattress and then when you're able to fold it back over at the top you get to see that pattern on top which I just love it's so cute and it's such a little random tip that 
that I kind of found out recently to do. I was like, why don't I just invert the sheet? And then literally you're gonna see the pattern right on top. Now guys, you have probably heard me talk about this multiple, multiple times in the past, but updating old hardware is such an easy and budget-friendly way to make old pieces in your apartment look brand new, whether they be kitchen cabinets, whether they be a media console, a bathroom vanity, whatever it is in your space that maybe just looks drab and just uncute, adding brand new hardware to it or even adding hardware to it to start with is such a great way to just add a little bit more detail and a little bit more interest and hardware can totally take a piece from boring to bold. I recently found these absolutely adorable rattan style knobs when I was shopping with my mom in Arizona and I had to pick up three of them because I was like, I'm going to save these for a furniture flip in the future because how great would these rattan knobs just instantly elevate any old Ikea furniture piece, whether you have a nightstand or like a little three drawer dresser. Next up, we are gonna be talking about artwork and I think artwork is extremely, extremely important. It is visual. You will always see it in a space when you walk into a room. Most times it's at eye level with you. You can see the artwork directly across from you. So updating it to something fresh and new does not have to break the bank at all. A lot of you guys have always asked me to kind of share how I do my artwork uploads to Staples, and this is in no way sponsored by Staples. I've never worked with them or talked to them ever, but I wanted to share with you guys how I easily am able to just go on a website like Etsy, search for digital downloads, and what I do is I search for a digital download art print, and a lot of times there are so many incredible artists from around the world that will sell you a digital copy of their artwork that you could then take to Staples' website, and when you head over to the Staple website, just click on the poster section, and you can easily have posters printed for such a reason reasonable price point. I think the most expensive one is $30 and it's like a four foot poster, which I think is a great size and price point. Think about purchasing a simple digital download and just printing it at Staples or a local print shop, popping it in the frame and you are good to go. You have some brand new artwork. My next tip kind of has a couple of different elements to it that I want to share with you guys. And the first main basis of this tip is to swap out old throw pillows for new throw pillows. And that is such an easy way to elevate any sofa, any chair, your living room entire entirely if you were to do all the new throw pillows, but this also plays hand in hand with just considering purchasing more neutral furniture if you are on a budget this year. So for example, let's say last year you ordered a royal blue velvet sofa and that was your favorite. You're like, oh my gosh, I love this sofa. It is incredible. You purchase it, you put it into your space, and then this year you're like, wow, I want to go in a more neutral fashion. But you know, my royal blue velvet sofa doesn't really match that aesthetic anymore. I'm going to have to get a new sofa. But how you can kind of combat that is to get a more neutral sofa and put royal blue velvet cushions on it, whether they be throw pillows or a royal blue throw, and incorporate the color that you're loving at the time, but then being able to swap it out at a later time for a brand new color without having to purchase a whole new furniture piece. Now, this next tip is one that is super, super random, and some of you guys might not like this one. Some of you might not even have thought about this, but it's something I thought about this year, especially after making over so many rooms in my apartment, and that is to switch out all of your light switch and outlet covers to make sure that they all match because I currently live in an old apartment building. This was built in 1920s. And throughout the years, they have swapped out electrical. They've done paint jobs, whatever it might be. And I swear to you guys, all the outlet covers for this entire apartment or lighting covers are completely different. So I am 100% going to go through my entire apartment, remove all of the old mismatched outlet or light switch covers and just kind of go through and just add brand new ones that freshen it up. A lot of them are also dingy and dirty as well or have paint on them or have just been here for honestly probably 50 years. So I'm going to go through and just make sure that everything's more cohesive and seamless. Whenever I think of a new year in terms of just a home in general, the first thing I always think about is decluttering and reorganizing everything. Um, this is something that I try to do every single year and it is something I have been pretty successful at over the past two years as I've gotten a little bit older. I know when I was younger, I never ever did this, but going through your old stuff, whatever it might be, I'm not going to particularly, you know, pinpoint a specific section. Going through your home and decluttering sections give you so much more space to reclutter in 2021 because I'm not going to lie to you guys. I am not someone that stays organized 24 seven. I am somebody that kind of works a lot and, you know, clutters up a space over a couple of weeks and then goes back and declutters all of it at once. So I want to do a full year re 
organization slash declutter, I guess you could say. And I also want to share with you guys some of my favorite organizational baskets really quickly because these have come in so helpful um, over the past year. And these are incredible here. These are from Joann's and these are only nine bucks. And you can normally also use a coupon on them as well, but they're large wooden crates and they hold so much. I use these in my craft room. I really like these because when they are visually seen like on a shelf, they're really pretty, but they also act purposeful to store whatever you want inside of there. So I'll link these ones below for you guys. And then last but not least, I got these ones here at Joann's last year and I got about eight of them and I love the kind of wire vintage touch to them, but I love how there's fabric inside so you won't be able to see exactly what's inside the basket, but you still kind of get that cutesy, almost farmhouse vibe. Moving into a DIY that you could do to your space that makes such an incredible impact and that is going to be to paint your window trim. I did this in my living room, you guys, and it made the biggest change ever. Now the windows that are to the left and right of the fireplace, I also ended up painting the trim on these black as well but as you could see the little middle sections or I guess like the little crossbars of this window they were metal now I have seen so many people on Instagram stories and on TikTok taking electrical tape black electrical tape and putting it over the top of your metal kind of crossbars on your window covering it up and it makes it look so cute so that is a DIY I'm going to be doing when I move out in the future I could remove the electrical tape and it will reveal the old white kind of metal bars and then I can also paint the trim back to white if necessary if the landlord wants me to do so and I'll have my apartment back to normal and last but not least you guys this is just more of something coming from me if you had a project in 2020 or something that you wanted to do in 2020 in your home that you did not do 2021 is your year to do it I know that this year this sounds kind of crazy but I really want to demo something like I want to take out a wall I want to remove a vanity I want to take out tiling I want to do something that is a little bit more um, in depth than just like peel and stick on something Thing, you know and that's not me saying that I won't do peel and stick because you guys all know I love peel and stick but I really want to do something a little bit more um, advanced I guess you could say and learn some new skills this year so that is exactly what I'm going to be doing I'm going to try my hardest to find spaces that maybe I could demo I know my aunt just got a new house in Arizona and my parents also have their house there so those are two spaces I guess I might be able to work on if they trust me to do so but just take on any project in 2020 that you might not have wanted to do or you never got around to doing and take it on in 2021 and make a mood board about it. You know what I talked about at the beginning. Alrighty guys, so that finishes off today's new video. I hope that you enjoyed this one and I hope that it maybe inspired you to do a couple of new updates around your home or just to transform it a little bit for the new year. I know that I'm going to be implementing every single thing I talked about in this video in my own home, whether it be changing up an accent wall because I'm sure that's going to be occurring this year, decluttering a space or, you know, even just adding a pattern sheet to your bed. Simple little tips like this are things you might forget about, but I love telling them here on my channel and just giving you guys a little bit of inspiration in case they weren't something that you thought about and you're like wow I can easily do that you know make a change in my space so if you are not already make sure to subscribe to my channel I post brand new home decor and DIY content every single week here on Lone Fox and I would love to see you guys back next week for a brand new video um, I cannot believe we are in 2021 again you guys thank you so much for all the love and support in 2020 and I will catch you all in my next one bye guys